guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to be talking about not makeup. Today I'll be talking more so about nutrition and the things I have been doing recently to lose weight. So lately I have been doing the ketogenic diet and also I have been intermittent fasting. These are some things that have helped me lose weight really, really fast. So I just kind of want to talk to you about them today because for me, I know a lot of people have been talking about the ketogenic diet. I feel like it's very, very popular now. A lot of people are getting on the bandwagon and trying it because it is such a good diet. So being a vegan and doing keto is like totally different, I think, from doing it the, you know, regular way where you're eating your meats and stuff like that. Because being vegan, you're not eating anything like that. You're eating straight plant-based foods and that's just that. For me, when starting this diet, like any diet that you're going to try, you do your research and stuff. And for me, when doing my research, I was mostly looking at how many carbs a vegan was specifically supposed to have. But then I kind of never really found that answer. So I was just like, oh my gosh, like how do I know if I'm getting enough to eat a day? It came to the point where I just decided to just try it. I was like, let me just try this amount of carbs that this app is telling me. And the app that I'm talking about is called the Keto app. I got that app from Makeup Shayla. She actually is doing the keto diet and she mentioned that she used that app to get how many carbs she's supposed to have a day. But before that app, I was using the Fitness Pal app, which is something I still do strongly use. It really, it's kind of confusing with the Fitness Pal app when, when it comes to keto because it's a little bit different. But when I use the keto app, it told me how many carbs I was supposed to have. First one I started off, I started off with having like 42 carbs a day. And from there, I kind of like worked myself down to having less carbs after I found out about that app. I was like, oh gosh, okay, I'm really having too many carbs, so let me like chime it down because this is too much. And if I want to really see progression in my body, I'm going to have to start off with eating less carbs now and then I can kind of like add it on as time goes on. So after I found out about the app and I figured out what was gonna be like my carbs for the day, that's when I really start to see change in my body. I didn't really see the change until I like cut those carbs down, which I know it sounds scary when you say 27 carbs, like what human is having 27 carbs? But honestly, a lot of humans are having 27 carbs a day and they're filled up. Like right now, I'm sitting here, I've already had two of my meals for the day and I'm completely full, like my stomach is like, full and I'm not hungry. So I thought it was impossible at first to only have that many carbs but come to find out you really do get full if you're eating the right foods. Within doing my research I tried to find out what is the first thing that I can have that's low carb. And if you look on the internet it's just so much stuff. It's so much stuff that it becomes really aggravating. But within trying to build my first meal, my breakfast lunch meal for the day, I got into like looking at things that could help me get my proteins, my fat, and have a little bit of carbs all at the same time. So the first thing I found out was that hemp seeds and chia seeds, like all of that stuff is real good for you. Hemp seeds really do stand out for vegans, and I don't know if like a lot of people know this, but hemp seeds have a lot of protein. For three tablespoons of hemp seeds, you have 10 grams of protein, which that is a lot for just like some little seeds. And you can mix the hemp seeds in just about anything. They don't have a taste, so they just about go in anything and you can be getting your protein. So by doing research, I found out about the hemp seeds. I began to build my own plan, what I was gonna eat. Going online and trying to figure out like what exactly to eat for a vegan, honestly, was hard. Of course, you eat meat. The first thing they'll tell you is eat your eggs and eat this and they have this stuff. But what I needed to do was find like grains to eat in the morning that was gonna give me energy, give me protein, give me my fats. Like I needed all of that basically in one thing. So what I did was I kind of created this shape. One day, I just started like mixing stuff together. So I started with chia seeds, hemp seeds, almond milk, pecans and almond butter. So not only did I add all of that in my shake, I also added protein powder. The protein powder that I do use is only like seven carbs. So it works out within that shake. And when I tell you that shake fills you up, like you'll feel it filling you up. That's how great it is. And it's such a great shake that I honestly fiend for it every single day. Like it is so, so good. Like it just, it's just so milky and it's so, 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 so good. All of those mixed together into a shake were a total of nine carbs. So I was like, okay, yeah, I got a winner. That is going to be my first meal for the day. Well, then I needed a lunch meal because 
Again, I was trying to hit 27 carbs throughout the day and I needed something else in the middle, but it couldn't be too heavy because then I still needed to eat dinner at night. It's probably like two things in it and the lettuce, but honestly, it fills me up. So, I mean, to each his own. My salad only has romaine lettuce, hemp seeds, and also capers. All of those things except for the lettuce are zero carbs that's how i kind of like came together with that salad because the thing about it is a lot of things that you will find in vegetables is they have carbs like with vegetables a lot of them are low carbs but they're still carbs and you have to think about it like if you want to get a meal out of something you are going to want to make sure what you're eating is low carb so you can have other things or even more of that thing so for me it was very important to me that what I was eating like between the meal of my dinner didn't really have that much carbs because I know how I get like towards the afternoon like I want something to fill me up and then after that I roll into fasting so I need to make sure that I'm full to last me that 17 hours that I need to go. Now between my dinner and my lunch or whatnot, if I do seem to get hungry, I'll have pickles. Pickles are zero carbs, so I'll have like two pickles. You have to watch pickles though because pickles have sodium, so two is really enough if you're gonna have pickles. Also a good alternative if you don't like pickles is the Life Light Bacon. It's a vegan bacon that is really, really, really good. I have about three pieces of that if I don't have the pickles. So for dinner, I kind of like try to mix it up every single day. For dinner, I'll do tempeh, which tempeh, if you cook it the right way, you can have a wonderful meal. Not only do I do tempeh as like my protein, my meat, but I also will do side of vegetables. I try for my vegetables to stick anywhere in between like spinach, asparagus, and green beans. Those are about the only vegetables that I do do because they're like the lowest. Oh, and also mushrooms. Let me not forget. They're like the lowest in carbs that I have found in like vegetables. Everything else is higher. You don't get as much out of it as you would these vegetables. So I just stick in between those and I kind of put them into rotation. So for dinner, a lot of times I have like mushrooms and then maybe I'll throw in some spinach or green beans or asparagus and then I'll throw in the tempeh and I'll just have that for dinner. Honestly, it fills me up. Coconut oil has become my best friend. Some people lean towards avocado but I started off that way and it has carbs so I kind of leaned off that because I'd rather have like something else for my meal so with coconut oil I became best friends with and that honestly is what has really kept me in ketosis even on the weekends when I kind of slip up I will eat more carbs during the weekend this is what has kept me in ketosis a lot of times people will tell you like if you eat this many certain carbs you get kicked out of ketosis but I feel like it's a science to that and Honestly, I've been in ketosis ever since I started and I have not gotten knocked out and I've ate like regular pizza from pepperonis and I still have been in ketosis. Now, had that made me gain a pound within that time? Yes but it was only a pound that I had gained and then like a day or two later I kind of like worked that off but it was like nothing getting knocked out of ketosis it's a science to it and honestly the whole thing about getting into ketosis is having more fats than carbs so what I try to do is like if I know I'm going to be eating not so good <laughs> either I'll like stick to like my beginning of my day plan and then like okay my last meal is like bad or say my first meal or breakfast is like pancakes or something like that then the rest of my day is going to be good so really if you want to kind of put it all together I really have one bad meal if I'm going to have one throughout the day like I don't just have a full day of bad eating if you're going to eat not so good don't just eat bad all day <laughs> make sure that you're kind of like watching it because at the end of the day you rather be in ketosis than get kicked out I like having the thought that I am eating more fats than carbs because at the end of the day fats are easier to burn off at the gym than carbs it starts off kind of hard but once you get the hang of it you just know you know you just know what you can't have you just know what you're going to need to eat for the day you start to plan it out some things that have been so helpful to me throughout this whole process like i told you guys about the app the keto app i only use that to find out where i needed to be i don't use that app at all for anything else i just use that app to like put in my weight my body mass and everything just to find out how many carbs i need to have a day for my body 
But other than that, I don't use that app. The app that I lean on the most and I use every single day is My Fitness Pal. That app, once you find out like where you need to be on the keto app, that app is so good for like marking your meals throughout the day. Like what I have done within My Fitness Pal is when I created that shake and when I created that salad, what I did was I created recipes for them. So now, since I have those things every day, all I do is tap on that recipe and then it goes into my diary and then voila, it's already there. And it's really, really helpful to me because I know Know how my days are gonna go and so if I choose to do wrong I can kind of set myself up for like okay well I know how many carbs I can have if I'm gonna go over my 27 carbs today this is what my day has to look like when I first started I was 162 and this was with me eating like fruits and stuff and thinking I was being healthy still working out but not really getting anywhere still staying at 162 like I could not break 162 for the longest after I started the keto diet, I'm now a rough like 155. My weight fluctuates a lot because I think I like I have those weekends, which is fine with me because I'll gain like a pound during the weekend maybe sometimes, and then I'm like back. And so I'm fine with that because I like to have my stuff too. And with any diet or any change that you're doing with your eating, you have to figure out how it works for you. So you can listen to 10,000 people tell you, well, don't do this, don't have a cheat meal, don't have a this, don't have that. But it's really just how your body works. And until you start this, you won't honestly figure out what your body is going to need and how you're going to get full. Like, you kind of just have to come up with your own things. In these, like, diets or any diet, going by the book just really honestly does not work. You have to figure out what's going to work for you because at the end of the day, you know your body best than anybody else. So, you know typically how you get hungry and whatnot. Like, for me, I was one before this diet. I was just one that just overate. I just overate all the time. And it's like, your stomach probably isn't telling you that you're hungry, but your mind is like, oh, I haven't ate. I'm like an hour, let me eat again, let me eat again. Like, that's just how our bodies work. Like, our minds just sometimes are just greedy, and our stomachs are not even really here for it. So, you have to figure out what your body needs. And when I first started, I was just kind of like up in the air, not knowing what to eat, and I was still hungry. And until I made that shake, and then I kind of came up with like my key things that I am now filled up and it just feels so good it feels so good to have a schedule it's kind of annoying during the weekend to have a schedule but honestly when you stick to a schedule like I swear life goes better I always call myself skinny fat like I always been like this and then with the butt but still like had like a stomach and a pudge and like the pudge is always just made me look like I was pregnant and it just was very very disheartening because you know you go to the gym and you do all this stuff at the gym but it's like if you're not eating well then you're not doing anything and it wasn't until I started eating right and lessening my carbs and I stopped my overeating that I really saw a change in my body. For me, I need structure and I think that we all do need structure because food is so accessible, you know? The food is one of those things where everybody has and you can get it cheap, you can get it here, you can get it there and if you don't have structure, you tend to feed the body what it doesn't even need and for me, like, I have opened my eyes to food so, so, so much, and I realized that a lot of things that I thought were just so, so good for me, I can eat it because it's a fruit, it's because it's this and that, it's not really that good, and when you're wondering why your body isn't changing, you're doing all this work, and nothing's happening, it's because you need to change up your eating. So, doing this diet has been a, a good experience for me, and I've been doing it three weeks, and I've lost that seven pounds, so... It's working. I'm loving the results. I'm loving how my stomach has just toned down. The things that I have mentioned, like the apps and stuff, the app, my fitness pal has really helped me. Also, going back into it, what has also really helped me was investing into a scale. It's just like a little food scale. Starting off, you really want to use a food scale because you want to make sure that you're having like the right grams of the food just when you start off you want to make sure that you're just getting like the one cup of serving of this and that and then if you choose to add on then you kind of can do the like math in between i'm still addicted to the scale because like i said i need structure in my life and structure is what kind of just molds me and i feel like it makes you better when you have that type of structure so if structuring myself with food and weighing my food if it just takes an extra minute or two to do before i eat then i'm fine with that not only getting the scale that has really helped me, also continuing to work out now and actually seeing results has just really helped me continue on with this diet. And like I said, I'm going to continue on with it because I know that it works and I have honestly haven't seen a change in my body in the past like years. Intermittent fasting is like a whole different spiel. I'll typically start eating around 12, 30, 1 o'clock 
throughout the day in the afternoon and I'll stop eating at like 7. Sometimes I go to like 7.30 to 8 o'clock, but like the latest that I'll eat is close to the hour of 8 o'clock. Like I don't go over that time just because I know that by the next day I'm going to want to eat at that time. So I try to stop. Sometimes I try to stop at like 6 something. It just all depends on how my day is going and when I actually get home and I'm able to cook me something. So I just really wanted to tell you guys about my experience because I don't feel like a lot of people talk about their experience. They just try to tell you this is what you do. This is what you do. This is what you do. But it's really an experience that you're having. You're, you're eating different. Your body's changing. Your body's depending on different stuff than it typically is used to. So I really do love it. I don't see myself ever getting off of it now. I mean, at first I did it just to go on like my trip and vacation, but now it's something that I really see continuing on with my life. And I really am excited to see where this journey takes me with my weight loss because I've never seen my body look so much better with me working out now. It just all makes sense. At first, it was just like you're working out for nothing. But now, it's just like it makes sense. I'm trying to like get recipes together to share with you guys so that I can show you guys how to make them and how simple and easy they are. If you guys want to see that, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you want to know about my keto vegan experience, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Ask me any questions whatsoever please do please do i'm learning and if i could help you out and help you change your lifestyle then i would just be so happy because it's it's amazing it really is amazing and i want to try to make everything easier for not just myself but you guys too so yeah that's pretty much it i feel like i rambled my mouth was dry and i'm just gonna go ahead and go throughout my day i love you guys so much and thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to leave your comments down in the comment section box below i'll see you next time Bye.